Hello everyone, it is Candy Sawanda 2 and welcome back to Forever Young. Today, I'm taking the spare Amy that I had left over from previously from my last custom of Winter the Fox and I'm going to be changing her into a brand new OC named Marcy the Ferret. Now, I don't have a reference picture of her yet, only just a gotcha concept. So some of the things on the gotcha concept may be different from how I'm going to do her as a model. So, let's get this started by making Marcy. So, just showing you that we're going to be using, I'm going to be using one of these neon tails, tails that I had left over to able to attach for her tail. I also basically pulled apart the arms and the head so it would be easier for me to customize. So I also use my X-Acto knife to cut off the tail that I pretty much don't need and I'm going to apply it with this tail, I'm going to be putting it on, which I actually had a hard time doing that, even to the point where, as you can see in this transition, I cut off the dress, which I was previously wanted to have the dress, but since the dress was in the way, I cut it off, so it would be easier for me to try to attach the tail. Also, off camera, I happen to put some clay around the waist so it doesn't look too cut up. So off screen, I painted off, painted her face and she just looks absolutely adorable. If you notice, I also punched a little hole on the side of her headband because I'm going to be putting a little heart accessory which I found from a Littlest Pet Shop set. This is when they had the deco bits and I'm just going to put that on the side there to make it pretty cute. So just showing you also another sneak peek of me doing the face but this is where I decided I wanted to give her some freckles since I don't really have any Sonic OCs that have freckles before so I just did three little dots which would remind you of Deku from My Hero Academia if you guys are pretty much fans of My Hero. I also forgot to mention too is that I also put little hearts in her eyes and also I end up putting the deco bit and I made it purple so it will match her outfit. So let's actually glue the tail and start and I painted the body off screen and as you can tell the tail is attached so this is what I had for in mind to do for her outfit. Oh, <laughs> I almost uh, tipped her over there. So the head, we just gotta put everything together. And here's what she looks like. I also off camera had painted the rings to be more metallic color. So there's more of a gold shine to it. Oh, sorry Mercy. <laughs> so the last thing she needs is varnish. Okay, for the finishing project. Here she is everyone, here is Marcy the Ferret. I'm actually pretty happy with this custom. And let me tell you this, I was actually, this was had to be one of the hardest customs I had to do since I didn't really have a reference picture. Plus taking a hedgehog and making it as a ferret was a little bit of a tough job, but I managed to do it. So look at her, she's just so cute. I can't wait to add her into my collection and Saffron wouldn't be alone anymore as her best friend has been made. So this is all for today for this custom. Again, this is Marcy the Ferret, and I can't wait to do more customs in the future. So, yeah, I'll pretty much see you later, guys. Bye!